and the mission for today is to get Ufudu officially imported back into the country um, something that I thought I did at the border uh, when we entered from Mozambique back into South Africa but when I reapplied for my license I was um, informed I still need to do the police clearance which I did at the border Ponte Maria border from Mozambique to South Africa um, but yeah so uh, running around driving around and um, for those that's never done this before let, um, let me explain the process join fearless on four wheels as we share our passion for travel find us on social media and subscribe to support us go to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels and get exclusive content really actually simple first step is go to your traffic department and get your request for a police clearance i think it's called rpc they will have to print that, you'll have to take your ID with, you have to take the original paperwork with you. If you haven't done it before, if you've done a police clearance before and you're bringing the vehicle back into the country, you take your previous police clearance and, and your ID with. So that's step number one. After that, you go to your police vehicle identification center closest to where you live. The police will send you away to the one where you live um, so if you're going to one that's convenient just tell them you live in that area but they might ask for proof of address once you have your police clearance signed after they've inspected your vehicle and compared the chassis numbers and the engine number with what's on your documents then you can go back to your traffic department and get your license renewed because then your vehicle is back in your home country so that is a quick one and I'll show you each step as I complete that okay step one done I've got my blank printed RPC doc from my traffic department and now I am heading to the police vehicle identification center where they'll fill in this one and then I can go back I'm in a wheelchair because there's a motor queue and they're allowing me to go to the front. Now we're at the police clearance, police vehicle identification center. Um, and let's see how this goes. My paperwork shows my car is not microdotted. My car is definitely microdotted. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay, after getting my proof of address, that I forgot, so I've got my proof of address and I brought the documents from the traffic department here for our inspection to check the VIN number and the engine number and then they'll give those docs back if everything's in order and I can go back to the traffic department for step number three. Okay, step number two done. I've got my signed RPC so now it's back to the traffic department to get my license renewed. Oh, and a bonus tip. Make sure that the traffic department marks your vehicle as microdotted, yes. Or show them the proof of the microdot. So that your car is permanently listed as microdotted. Otherwise you need to carry that proof with you all the time. Another office. Another moose queue. Another very big queue all around the block. People are queuing to get in. Three hours later and I'm done and dusted and my car is legally back and licensed in South Africa. Some tips, uh, if you're doing this in the second half of 2020, I would seriously check up about when in the month it's quieter. This is uh, end of the month, it was very busy. If I wasn't allowed to skip the queues, I would still be queuing for the first step. So yeah, keep that in mind and it might be worth it actually phoning and checking what day of the month is the quietest and go very very early or get your the first step at the traffic department finished on day one and then go very very early on day two for the police clearance because there was a motor queue like I showed you um, then uh, make sure your proof of address 
proof of physical address is less than three months and you've got your ID with you and everything else is up to date. Um, have a look at where the policeman checks your engine number and your chassis number so that you can show it to the border personnel because in Ethiopia they could not find our engine number because it's on a very specific spot and they found a different number which was a job number and they said it didn't match so yeah uh, keep that in mind it might make your border crossings less stressful and it'll give you some assurance as well and obviously double check those numbers um, something I didn't do but now I know my numbers are right I know where they are and I can show it to anybody that is querying it yeah so I hope you enjoyed this little technical video on how to do the police clearance you, can do, you must do this before you exit the country with your vehicle if you are going outside the SADC area and you must do it again after you come back into the country I would highly recommend that you do this at the border if you can when you enter the country get uh, get them to do it there um, you might not be able to do it but try that it will save you quite a big trip okay so thank you very much to our patrons that support us on our travels go to patreon.com forward slash fearless on four wheels to find out more thank you for watching our videos please remember to like subscribe hit that bell icon to get notified of all new videos.